step three in relation to updating my details within your Fetch Courses account. Log back into Fetch Courses and click on My Details. Across the top will be various tabs for information that needs to be gathered. The first one is the general tab. So to be able to update and enter your details, what you want to do is click on edit over on the right hand side. And this will take away the grayed out boxes that you can enter in your information. So the first step is to please read and accept the data protection statement. So click here to open the statement in a pop up window. And you can read the information regarding your data protection. So if I scroll down to the very bottom and click on accept. And the next step then will be to complete all the boxes in relation to the general tab. So you have your first name, last name, your address, your mobile number, landline number, if you have a landline number, PPS number, date of birth, gender, country of birth, nationality and emergency contact details. Once you have that completed, click on save. And then we click on the social welfare tab. So to edit, again, click edit over in the right hand corner and we need to select, do you have a medical card? Yes or no. If you select yes, you need to enter in your medical card number and your expiry date. So I'm going to select no for this example. Which the following applies to you in receipt of social welfare payment, signing for credits, dependent of a social welfare training payment or medical card holder or none of above. So if you click on in receipt of social welfare payment or signing for credits or a dependent, a drop down will open up where you need to enter in the number of weeks if it's less than a year on your payment or if it is over a year. And under that, then again, you will need to select the payment that you're actually receiving. So you put a tick into the little box. And just for this, I put in two. If you're not receiving a payment at all, you click on none of above. The bottom section, this section is only for those who are outside the European economic area, where they need to select the different parts of the information that's re relevant to them. Once you have that completed, you click save. Then for the next step, you want to go to the educational tab and you want to click on add course or attainment. So add a course of attainment. So if the highest level of education was your Leaving Cert, you click on the down arrow and you choose Leaving Cert within the list. Country achieved. The course title was Leaving Cert and the year. And we click Add. If you have other courses to add, you just click on add a course, education level. So if it was a level five in Ireland, let's say childcare, and say 2021, we click add and it will come up with the list. If you want to remove any part of your educational level, you just click on delete over on the right hand side. Have you gained qualifications or credit through the recognition of prior learning? Yes or no. This is depending on the course that you're applying for. So if it was a childcare course and you're currently working in childcare, you will be able to use parts of your childcare experience in relation to the course that you are attending. For the course that I'll be applying for, I'm clicking no. Have you taken part in non-formal learning in the last four weeks? No. Do you need any? If you need learning supports, take the relevant support that you require or multiple supports you may require. I'm clicking on none of above. Do you require any additional supports? Yes or no. If you click yes, you will need to enter in information regarding the additional supports you will require. So I'm going to click no. And then we click save. And now we have moved on to the My Status tab. So this part is recording your economic and employment status. So what is your main economic status 
before starting the course. When you click on the drop down arrow, it'll give you the option of employed, unemployed, student trainee, engaged at home duties, retired, inactive for other reasons. So I'm going to come down and click on engaged in home duty. In this section, then you need to select how long you have been in your current status. So if it was more than a year or less than a year. So I'm going to enter in 10 years here for this example and click save. If I had chosen that I was in employment or unemployed, we'll say unemployed. The same thing in regarding the economic status, more than a year or less than a year. But another question appears, were you previously employed? If I click yes, a drop down section will open up where I'll need to enter in um, details regarding past employment or current employment. So, And I'm just going to enter in just some details for the example. And then once you select your details, you click on save. And for the for the final part, you can click on further details and you need to re-enter your password for your Fetch account. Once you get access to the last page, this is where it's asking you some more information. Um, you can tick the relevant boxes to you, then click on save. Now we have completed all the sections for my details.